Hi everyone. So this is a follow-up of the manicure that we did last week with Dazzle Dry Faith. And these are the results. So it lasted really well. It just has some free edge wear. And that's about it. Let's see the thumb. Mm -hmm. and this hand. Perfect. So in today's video, they actually grown quite a bit too. Oh. Oh, this is 10 days actually. Yeah, 10 days because we did the manicure on Saturday. And in today's video, we're going to be doing the manicure with love. It's a really nice true red. So before we start, we are going to place the base coats in some hot water. Just make sure that it doesn't go past the, uh, the neck. And I'm going to remove the polish. And here is how I remove polish, the regular polish, because when I start doing that, everybody's like, no, no, no this is a regular polish. And this is what I do with regular polish. And it comes off much, much better, much cleaner. So I just place the pad with pure acetone, like a one pump. So when you're doing this on yourself, I would suggest just doing one hand, removing polish and then doing the other hand, but you just have to wait another, I would say, I don't know, 30 seconds. This hand, if you're doing just one. And this is going to be magic. something left I just leave it behind so press down away. have to give it a second okay and now I'm gonna grab a clean piece and clean it off so now this you can kind of go over the area because there was barely any polish on the pad to be doing a dry manicure uh, with 
without any cuticle remover, without any water. That's my favorite type of manicure. I find the polish lasts longer that way because we're not applying polish over a wet surface. little bit of peeling and it's usually due to just using your hands so there's a little bit of peeling so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bevel this with the electric file just to smooth it because if we apply polish on top of this and this flakes off it's going to look like it's a polish chip this just has to be you know um, cared for this area because otherwise it will split and the nails are not really too flexible, so I would not really um, advise a hardener. Just using a little oil will protect the nails from water. a little bit of peeling that's why I'm kind of going over this because nothing will seal that area once it's peeled sometimes you can seal it temporarily but it's not a very permanent fix so now I'm going to push back the proximal nail folds so I'm pushing back the living skin which then exposes the dead skin that's on top of the nail which is a cuticle tissue Sometimes when the nails are peeling like this, it's a good idea to skip the polish once or twice and just use like a strengthening base coat or like a strengthening polish and lots of oil. Once in a while, it's not a bad idea. But not now, it's Christmas time. So I'm going to use the, the Erica's bit on a very low speed. I'm just going to clean up that area. It's almost a minimum speed. So the goal is not to remove the dry skin but the goal is to just give it a light exfoliation and remove the cuticle just to kind of freshen, freshen it up. It's dry skin, and I know I'm repeating myself, but this is very, very important to understand. The dry skin can only be fixed by protecting it and 
using proper creams and oils, not by filing it. And sure, filing the skin will temporarily make it look better, but it's not a long-term solution at all. So going for a facial, getting like microdermabrasion, but pretty much no creams, and not using any creams after. That's not how you fix dry skin, right? This facial is good, exfoliation is good, but it's just to help the creams to absorb properly. And you can see that there's not a lot of um, dust flying around because we're not removing a lot of skin, right? We're just removing very thin cuticle and just exfoliating the rest. So once you see a lot of dust flying, it's usually actually filing the natural nail. You also have to look that the natural nail has lines, like just the natural texture. If it's too smooth, it's totally over filed. And that's not good because those first layers of the nail are the most resistant to damage and staining and everything else. So we want to protect those layers and not file them. And also right now the skin looks drier because we removed the polish with acetone. So it's temporarily kind of makes the they all look a little white. But that goes away after the hands are washed. Just going over this area very, very lightly. I'm 
not going over the whole nail, just on the pre growth area. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the Dazzle Dry Prep. Clean off the underneath as well, the free end. Sometimes, when there is um, oils or creams underneath, the, um, the polish can shrink away from the free end, so it's good to make sure that this is clean. This is nice and clear. I'm gonna grab a small amount. And I make sure that when I um, touch up the free edge that I don't deposit too much polish on the end because that will take much longer to dry. And sometimes when that area is still wet, um, the polish gets stuck to it and it damages the formula of the nail polish. So you want to make sure that the base coat is fully dried before you apply the color coat. Really want to make sure that I get this base coat in the little cracks. I will kind of seal them in. A little bit.
when I'm working with Dazzle Dry, I prefer to do the four nails uh, and then thumb separately, especially with the base coat because it feels kind of watery. I just don't want it to drip to one side. Um, again, because that side is going to take longer to dry. So I want to make sure that it's applied very evenly. So then I ask the client to hold it this way, flat, just for like even 10 seconds. So it sets a little bit. And we're going to do two layers of base coat. I had someone asking me, sometimes I use one and why. So if the nails are healthy, super hard, without any issues, I find one coat is enough. But sometimes if the nails are more flexible, if there's more peeling or anything like that, then two coats are a better idea. Mm -hmm. Now the form. Here you can see that the base coat is nice and dry. It's kind of matte. It's not really matte, they call it matte, but it's just, you can see that you can see the texture of the nail through it. That means it is dry. It doesn't have like that watery appearance. see this area here it's still a tiny bit wet it's fine but this is what you have to uh, learn to see have to make sure that you clean the bottle because you can see when there is um, pieces of dried up nail polish what happens is it um, the bottle doesn't have a good seal so just make sure that it's clean with just pure acetone like this. okay so we're gonna let them dry for one minute yeah, so this is still a little wet. Tiny bit. So the second coat of the base coat is not going to be as kind of matte as the first one. The first coat of some of the reds can look a little pink and people freak out a little bit sometimes, but the second coat is going to be more red. 
The reason why it's so pink is because I'm applying it quite thin. grab I just dip the tip of the brush in the nail polish like this now this one looks dry I always look around the edges Very often people look at the nails just like this. They don't look around to see how the surface looks. And it's important. hand and this hand is dry so you can see that the color is the surface looks quite flat quite matte
this polish dries very very quickly so you want to make sure you don't overwork it so you try to place it and then just move from that area and try not to go over the same area twice Because if you're a little bit slower, then it's going to be too light. I find usually all the colors are really opaque in two coats, unless they're they're sheer and they are not meant to be opaque. So I like to apply kind of a thinner coat, I would say, for proper drying time. Great. Okay, so now I'm gonna clean up some nails. Look at this, this is already pretty much dry. So I'm gonna grab a piece of paper your acetone in a pump and just perfect the, the edges of the polish. Make sure it looks nice and neat. I find some dazzle dry colors dry quicker, the color coats, than others. I find the sheer colors, funny enough, dry a little bit slower. And the stronger colors, the darker colors, dry quicker. So you can see that the surface now is again a little dull looking, but not as dull as the first one. But that tells me it's already dry. And I'm going to put the top coat. It's already dry. Try, dry, dry. Top coat. Make sure it's a proper consistency. If it gets too thick, it has to be thinned out. Dazzle dry really dries in five minutes, which is incredible. It's fully dry. So I love using this for pedicures. Because by the time I'm done foot massage, this is dry and people can put their shoes on. Just mind blowing. Okay, now these ones go flat. Also, what I noticed with Dazzle Dry, it does not yellow the nails. Even the dark reds, none of them yellow the nails. They also don't cause the nails to develop like white spots. Usually that's visible mostly on the toes when people wear polish kind of all year round without any breaks. The nails kind of get little, almost flaky looking yellow and with white patches. 
and that's not due to dryness really i think it's due to uh, surface damage and i find that this brand does not cause it as much i still had two clients that had some sort of um bit of a white spots but definitely um big improvement i think just some people's nails are different and they get little white spots and others don't but i haven't seen absolutely any yellowing with this Okay, great. We're gonna leave them now for five minutes to dry and we'll be right back. Okay, so it's almost five minutes. So now I'm gonna use oil. So with Dazzle Dry, you don't wanna be using any quick drying sprays or any air. You wanna let them dry naturally. first when you apply oil on these nails they kind of turn a little dull but don't worry about it once the cream is gone they're gonna be nice and shiny again so yeah this is like a perfect neutral like a true red right now it looks quite pink at first but different once it's dry I mean with two coats Okay, and this is it, nice and dry. No worries. Thank you so much for watching, and bye.